Hey there, fourth graders, and happy Friday. Welcome back to science. We are going to jump back in talking about coral reefs. We'll leave, uh, pick up right where we left off on Wednesday. So let me share my screen with you. And again, I'm gonna pull up the article that we've been reading in today. I know you're gonna be really relieved that we're going to finish reading this article all together and wrap this up so that we can move on to something different next week. Um, let's review, we've talked about coral reefs and what they are, that they're made up of those little polyps, which are actually, remember, tiny little animals, not plants, that attach themselves to each other um, they surround themselves with that little limestone shell to protect them from um, animals coming through and eating them so they can continue to grow to form that big barrier um, that becomes a coral reef. On Wednesday, let's keep scrolling down here through what we read. We read about the three main types of coral reefs, fringing reefs that start at the shore and fringe out, barrier reefs, the big tall walls, and atolls, which are the circular reefs that surround a lagoon. And today we're gonna kind of focus on the Great Barrier Reef. We're gonna watch a video specifically about that one. Let me scroll right back up here, something I skipped um, earlier, and those are the shapes that different coral reefs can take on. They can be in the shape of lettuce, trees, fans, domes, flowers, and even brain-shaped reefs. So today as we watch our video, I want you to really look for those shapes in the different reefs and try to recognize those as we're looking at all the different colors and the shapes that are on the bottom of the ocean floor. Let's scroll down to the bottom. If you want to pause this video for just a moment and pull up your article, I've put it in your homework assignment as an attachment. So if you wanna read along differently, then you can certainly do that. For those of you who printed it, you could pull that out and you can keep reading along there. We're gonna start right here where it says, coral reefs are sensitive structures. So get there with me where my mouse is. Coral reefs are sensitive structures. They require just the right amount of sunshine, warmth, and salinity, or the concentration of salt. Coral reefs grow very slowly. Some grow several inches per year, but the largest grow less than an inch. So in an entire year, think about that. Remember, an inch is the size of your little knuckle right here. We learned that in math. So they grow less than that much in a year. Think about how long it takes those coral reefs that are miles long to form. Coral reefs are a very important part of the ecosystem. They provide shelter for thousands of marine plants and animals. In fact, these reefs are home to more animals than any other habitat on Earth. However, coral reefs can be easily damaged or destroyed by other marine life, by storms, or by men. If destroyed, underwater life would change drastically. And I know at least in my class, we talked about um, the food chain and we talked about ecosystems and how if one little part of the ecosystem is messed up, then other parts of the ecosystem begin to lose their life because they feed off of certain parts. And when those parts aren't there, then they can no longer live. So coral reefs are a very important part of the ocean system. Every year, Divers visit coral reefs to observe their beauty. They admire the rainbow of colorful marine life as well as the many colors and the unique shapes of the coral reefs themselves. These delicate natural structures must be preserved for future generations. And one of the reasons why I think the writer of this article included that part is because there are people who are damaging the coral reefs. There are people who come through and pick parts of it to keep, like a plant or a flower. And when you do that, you kill parts of the coral reef and it's no longer there to be a home for different fish and so they really want people to take care of the coral reefs to preserve the marine life there. Okay, I while I'm screen, sharing my screen here, I'm going to jump over to this great video about the Great Barrier Reef, which is the biggest and most well-known reef um, in the world. And it's over by Australia. This one has um, some really great pictures in it too. So I want you to be watching for the different shapes. I want you to be noticing the shapes and the colors as we watch this together. We're looking for lettuce, for trees, for flowers, um, and for brains. So be looking for the different shapes of coral reefs as we watch. From space, 
The east coast of Australia appears to be in the embrace of a giant opal. The largest living structure on earth, the Great Barrier Reef, is a lacy living wall spanning more than 2,000 kilometers of islands and submerged reefs between the Queensland coast and the western edge of the Pacific Ocean. Diving in, the opal seems to splinter into millions of pieces, whirlpools of small metallic blue fish, barracuda gliding like silver submarines, and occasionally a lone predatory shark. Great Barrier Reef is like an underwater city whose buildings are alive with millions of small creatures whose lives are intimately and intricately connected. It is as diverse as a rainforest, a mosaic of more than 70 types of habitats hosting thousands of species of marine life. As many as a hundred different kinds of coral may occupy a single acre of ocean. Molecule by molecule, coral animals gradually extract calcium carbonate from the surrounding water to form minute stony cups around each animal's soft crown of tentacles. Those stony cups are the limestone. Some corals live in solitary splendor, but most are built with hundreds, Ooh, sometimes thousands of individual animals linked together to form a single coral mound, plate, or cluster of branches. There's the dome shape. Some are like little trees and shrubs. They provide food and shelter for thousands of other forms of life. Corals get the credit for most of the reef structure, but much of the construction is done by fast-growing, encrusting red algae. They act like pink glue, cementing fragments of shells, sand, and coral with sheets of calcium carbonate. of mollusks, from tiny sea slugs, nudibranchs, to giant clams. Green sea turtles travel thousands of miles in the open sea to reach the sandy beaches of some of the barrier reefs islands and there to lay their eggs. Hatchlings, it's straight for the sea. They will travel thousands of miles over the years and eventually return to lay their own eggs. <laughs> Established as a national park in 1975, the Great Barrier Reef was designated as a World Heritage Site six years later. Today, about 33% of it is fully protected from fishing and other extractive activities. And efforts are underway to deal with pollution, overfishing, and the consequences of climate change. The Great Barrier Reef appears to be about 20,000 years old, but geologists using deep coring techniques have found evidence of ancient corals there that are half a million years old. With care, the future of Australia's living treasure, the Great Barrier Reef, will be at least as enduring as its magnificent past. Right, I'm going to stop that there and I'm going to continue to share my screen to show you what you're actually going to do for homework. Um, your quick check is going to be called um, a 321. And so you're going to open this up. You're going to list three things that you have learned in our study of coral reefs, not necessarily today, but just this week. Then you're going to give two facts that you read and you can copy these directly from the article. And then you're going to give one question that you have. Maybe a question for me, maybe a question you would like to research, um, and maybe a question that I would have to research for you, but just a question that you have about the things that you have learned. Down here, you wanna be sure and type the title of what we read, which would be Coral Reefs. This should be a real quick activity. When you're done with that, then we're going to have a larger assessment, and that's going to be a Coral Reefs quiz. This is an open note quiz. And so if you'll click on that assignment next, 
it's going to look like this. You may use your article um, or you may go back and use the videos from the week if you would like to use those. I have the article attached here for you and all of the information that you're going to need there is going to be um, included in the article. Um, I want us to really think about coral reefs. I want us to think about the size that they are. I want us to think about the years that it's taken to form them and take a second to realize, wow, how great is our God that he's created these incredible things in the ocean. Um, some of us have never seen these things in real life, but I hope that someday you get to truly see a coral reef and you're gonna know a whole lot about it. Hope you have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Never forget.